Hi guys, today we are going to talk about my journey, how I cracked the VMware interview, what you can do to prepare for it and what did I do for preparation and I will share a lot of resources with you throughout the video. For the sake of it, I am not putting any chapters because you will not be able to get complete context if you skip to specific parts. So let me just start our journey right now with today's video. Let's go. So I will divide the whole video into certain parts. First I will start off with what I was doing before I started preparation for VMware. What was in my mind, what I was doing through every day, what you can do right now. Next thing is how I started preparing for it, what were the resources, I will spread it throughout the video. This kind of content is really helpful for any UI developer I hope and if you are liking the content I would request you to subscribe to this channel so that I can help even more people and you specifically for preparation for interviews and learning a lot of concepts in angular let's start with the time before this interview what i was doing so i have a peculiar habit a habit of basically reading things and just to relate it right i also do gym right now if you are into fitness and gyming right i am doing it for six years and i was not always regular now what i why i am telling you this because it relates to actually working with your code i have seen people in instagram who are like really bulky in their 40s the reason is this when you put small effort just a small effort every day not getting completely into interviews and stuff and just putting a small effort in the long run it yields really big things so i kind of implemented that in my own studying the same thing i do in gyms what i did was just read one article every day just one article and the article might be related to react might be related to next.js might be related to microservices or anything like that it helped me put a context about programming world and kind of expanded my mind now also second thing which i was doing before interviews was taking interviews when you're asking certain candidates questions the answers given by them gives you a new perspective that also really helped me the major thing was just putting a small bit of effort when you are not preparing for an interview, just put a small bit of effort to learn one thing every day. Anything, it can be anything related to UI or programming. What happened? How did I got opportunity in VMware? You, obviously, you can go to any person in LinkedIn, ping him about referrals if they are present. I had to got a referral from a friend who knew me, so he helped me get it. That started my journey to VMware's interview. So how I prepared for the interview? Preparation for interview was just a very kind of linear process but I always take a kind of smart way of doing things not just the hard way I didn't go ahead and learned everything but what I did is just went to websites top 100 question top 500 question top 50 questions top questions for angular interviews and javascript interviews with each question I kind of asked why I asked how I mean consider this you have a question on angular routing you can just read the lines they are present or you can take some time to learn more about if certain word which comes in the definition is not known to you either you can just gulp it up or you can be curious like me and just read about it a little bit more also i was creating a lot of my personal projects based on those questions so i kind of implemented whatever i was learning and that made a lasting impression on my mind and that way I was able to remember whatever I was coding there. For you, I would suggest to do the same. Just go ahead and start searching in Google top 100 questions, top 500 questions. Obviously you can see in the screen, these were the websites which I accessed and these websites contain really good set of questions. There are so many questions, there are so many things to learn. It's vast, I know. Are those questions asked? No those all questions will never be asked and i would say 99 percent of those questions won't be asked so why you are learning those obviously it helps to know more and if the person is knowledgeable who is asking you these interview questions they can randomly ask it's on your luck right anyone anything can be asked so 
it's better to learn everything instead of nothing what questions were asked during my interviews how many rounds were there in vma so there were three rounds which i had to give three technical and managerial round and hr round so in these three rounds one round was based on basics of angular and some in depth questions about angular second round was on javascript specifically uh, third round was on designing the system designing a application in 40 minutes or 50 minutes or so what questions were asked during those rounds first round the interviewer went really deep into life cycle hooks and different kind of errors you can expect in that and the sequence how those life cycle hooks were called he, he also asked about some questions about javascript and he asked me to make small application where basically there is a div and when you click on the div it splits into two so it kind of checked my css knowledge also along with that so i used flex to solve it and i think person kind of got confidence that i know a little bit about css so your css should also be very good play with more applications create your sub projects there is no way other than that now the second interview was mostly based on javascript now javascript has lot of things to cover there is javascript currying there is arrays i was most specifically asked about arrays and then polyfills like if you want to add a new polyfill how do you do that it was in relation to angular what will happen uh, when you do different kind of operations in array like pushing an item delete operation then suddenly increasing the length decreasing the length what will happen in all of those cases that was one of the questions which was asked me there now i guess that person also was fairly confident in me that's why i moved to third round third round was creating a e cert e-commerce application on the fly and obviously in 40 minutes you can't do that so we just explored the ways where we basically load data from ui not from any server and then have search functionality implemented i was able to discuss all that with my interviewer throughout the interview i was not like i am just focusing on my program and not discussing anything with my interviewer i like to talk right I am an extrovert and in similar way I was talking through whatever I was doing with my interviewer so that I can keep him fairly engaged. He was asking me the questions like why you are choosing this design over that or why you are doing this over that and I was able to explain to him why I am doing what I am doing right now and this really helped me out in all of the process. Final round was managerial round where I was asked a lot of questions about leading a team also working as a team member there were a lot of conditions asked like what will happen if you have to fire someone what will happen if there is a conflict what will happen if you have an idea which has been replaced by senior leaders of the team which has been demolished by them what did you do then there are different kind of answers and it will be it will be based on your personality none of those answers are actually very much correct or wrong it is based on your personality and the personality of person who is taking your interview if those two match obviously you will be selected there aren't any universal answers to that but i can give you my idea what my ideas were there for all the conflicts i try to first resolve it but the person whom i am having a conflict with that is a kind of universal answer and that's what i also do and if that doesn't work i will take up with my senior lead the issue of that conflict if that also doesn't resolve then i'll put up emails obviously the lot of trainings which i went through with morgan stanley help me here because in Morgan Stanley you are taught how to behave correctly in office. Now what should you do if you are preparing for interview? First of all from today onwards just read one article or watch one YouTube video based on angular or any loosely related to UI whatever you are doing. If you do that over the time of six months you would have grown enormously in your knowledge and obviously you can crack lot of interviews or any interviews you want i hope this video was helpful to you if it was please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video because it really helps me to reach more people and help you guys thank you guys see you next week bye bye